Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. A little while back, I made a video on measuring the density of silver. I had bought some silver jewelry off of eBay and I had a little scale and I was trying to measure the density of it. The one problem with that was the scale that I had was really cheap. So it had given me an initial measurement. I'm not even sure if that initial measurement was correct, but then it started counting down and dropping down to zero. 0.73, it looks like we got. Oh, and you can see the scale there is just dropping. I said in that video I would get a more expensive scale and that is exactly what I've done here. And I've also got a little bar of silver and I want to find out if this is actually silver or not. So let's do it. All right, so I've got my little setup here. I've got my little bar of silver here. It says it's 21 grams of 999 FS, which is 99.9% .9 fine silver. Uh, this 21 grams here, though, I want to show you something. Are you ready? If I put this right here, it actually says 13.61. So first of all, I'm cheated on that. I bought this off of eBay. It said it was 21 grams of fine silver. It's actually... 13.61 grams of that. So that's why I'm gonna work out if this is actually silver or not uh, to find out if I was cheated on, on that side of it too. So first things first, I have here the density of silver. That's the known density. It's 10.49 grams per cubic centimeter. Um, and so because of that, the equation here is density equals mass over volume. So the mass of this is 13.61. Uh, I'll work with, um, to two decimal places, so 13.61. Now I need to find out the volume. Now the tricky thing with this, I was doing some testing before. Um, in the first video, I had a setup similar to this one here. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but essentially this is just a cup full of water and then this would be a floating um, container that I would put the silver in to then measure its volume but I can't do that with this scale because this scale maxes out at 50 grams and the moment I put this cup of water on it it, uh, it, it says it's maxed out and so I can't measure anything else. So I have a different method of measuring using this. So if you can see here, there's water filled right up to the edge so the moment I add something to it, it's gonna spill over. So the plan for that is to get a little cup here, which weighs exactly on the dot four grams. I will fill, I'll put the silver in this one, catch all the spilled water, and then measure that on here so I can get the volume of the silver. So hopefully you understood exactly what that means. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. Well, first of all, so I measured it before, it was on the dot four grams. Um, any slight thing can change the scale, it's pretty exact, so. Okay, well we're working with 4.01, I will round up. Let's just write that down. So 4.01, it's written down here like that. Cool. And very gently do this. Okay, I've dropped that in there. There's still quite the meniscus on that, which is good. That means I got it right to the top and I caught a good amount of water there. Yeah, you can see that water in there. It's a good amount. So let's measure this then. Okay, you ready? And I'm just going to 5.99 to two decimal places. Great, so I need to minus that from that. All right, yeah, so 5.99 minus 4.01 equals 1.98. So, looks like I've got 1.98 um, grams of water, but that is the number I need here for, I need 1.98 um, cubic centimeters. So the way this works is water at one cubic centimeter is one gram. So that means this silver displaced 1.98 grams or almost two mils of water. 
And so that's how I get my cubic centimeter volume by displacing that water. So now I've got 13.61 divided 1.98. So is actually 6.87. I accidentally hit minus on the thing and wrote something else there um, before, but yeah, 13.61 divided 1.98 is equal to 6.87 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, that number is much lower than, than what it should be. It should be that. All right, so I got 6.87, which is way off. I'm uh, assuming that is to do mainly with the way I measured it, how I caught the overflow of the water, but I wouldn't imagine it'd be that far off. So I figured out a way that could possibly work doing this method here. I'm just using the smaller container here, plus that's a USB lid um, being strung up in there. So what I'm gonna do, see if I can carefully place the silver in there. I can't really have it touching the sides. I'm not sure how well this method's working. What if I were to scrap this? Let's tear it. Okay. New way I'm gonna try is, I'm just gonna hold it in there. Now the tweezers should hopefully be mostly negligible for the amount of water they displace. What do I have? 1.34. Okay, I'll say 1.34. That's how much water. Or for the tweezers, I'll say 1.33 just to get rid of any of the tip of the tweezers that was in there. Here we go. So this has stayed the same 13.61. And then 1.33 uh, is what I said. That's right. So 13.61 divided by 1.33 equals to 10.23, which is significantly closer to that. So that's good, that's good. Using this method of just holding it in there, again, not super accurate because the tweezers were in there, but um, it wasn't gonna affect this number hardly at all. So getting that 10.23, I can pretty safely say that this is silver. Uh, the only thing that was lying about it was that it was 21 grams, but it wasn't, it was actually 13 and a half grams. So I guess I'm a little disappointed about that, um, knowing that it's not, it's almost half of what I bought, but I'm happy to say, uh, and I'm pretty confident to say that this is actually silver based off of this number here. Well, that just about does it. This um, silver is silver. The scale actually works really well. It took a bit of tinkering and trying out a few different things to get the most accurate result I can, which I'm pretty confident in this one. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.